everyone, I am back, finally, with part two of the modern jungle villa speed build, which isn't as speedy as it should be because I still take too long. Um, sometimes I do that deliberately though because I really do. Sometimes I don't want to finish a build because at some point it starts looking kind of good and you're like, wow, wow, I don't actually suck. So I um, kind of want to keep going with this one that isn't terrible because then you do like a series of ten that all look like the worst thing you've ever made and you never want to touch it again. That's not true, I build every single day. But you do feel pretty bad when you do ten in a row that you hate. Anyway, just kidding, that never happens. All my builds are great, go download them and all of that good stuff. But yeah, here's the kitchen. <laughs> um, but no, I am too slow, I need to get better at I'm I'm quick at the building part. But the decorating part, not so much. I don't know why that is. I'm just, I'm not as big a fan of decorating as I am of the building process. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't mind decorating in like the small apartments and stuff because then I feel I can do, I can do cute cluttered corners and quite unique things. In bigger builds, it becomes just quite tedious. I wanted to do something different with the kitchen though because kitchens for me often end up looking the same. Um, but I had so much space, I was like, I might as well do something kind of different, you know, in blah blah blah, unique for once, good job, English, we did, we did that, oh god, <laughs> this is going well, um, so yeah, I did this really long winding, uh, counter island, that's the word, island, yes, although, how much of an island is it, because it actually connects to the main counter pieces, so it's not really an island, is it? It's just um, a piece of land jutting out. What? What are we talking about? Stop this, sorry. Forgive me. I am still grieving about yesterday's result in the World Cup. But England have done amazingly. And I can't wait to see them play on Saturday. Because Kane's got to get the golden boot. And it's just, it's been amazing. Most memorable football of my life so far because we'll win the Euros and the next World Cup. Don't want to jinx it though. Pretend I didn't say that. Um, here I am cluttering up the kitchen. So it's starting to, then I get distracted and remember I still have main things to do. Um, so yeah, I take too long, as I said, in, in the building process part thing. So I don't include the decorating of every room in this. I think we include the kitchen, uh, both bedrooms, uh, blah, blah, blah. the area that's above one bedroom. It's like a, I don't know, just it's like a mini, not mini, it's quite big, a living room above the bedroom that connects to the bedroom. So it's, it's just, ah, wow, good work. This is a good explanation. I'm sure everyone knows exactly what I mean. I hope so. I don't. And I built it. Um, see that little exterior part on the left jutting out from the kitchen? Um, I got rid of that because I was like, ah, oh, we don't really need this part. But I kind of liked having it just because. And so I stick on a little fire pit where you can roast marshmallows. It's sort of just a chill out area because we have quite a lot of outdoor space on this build. We have phew, um, two ground level, I don't know, you have to call them balconies, verandas, I don't know, those things. We have two of those. The front one has a hot tub and bar area with a barbecue and just a nice seating area to sit. <laughs> yes. That connects to the living room, which I show in tour, but not the decorating speed build part, as I said. Um, I thought I was saying I need to stop repeating myself. This is, this is going well. Yeah, that connects to the living room. And then the back porch, balcony, veranda, I need to say one word but I can't because I don't know what it's actually called. Um, that also has like a seating area but it's more of a dining area. There's um, So you can eat in the kitchen. There's quite a few stores attached to the not island part. <laughs> helpful um, but if the weather's nice unlike it w how it was in my tour um, you can take your food outside sit in the sun enjoy birds trying to come and steal your food maybe not though how many birds do that? I know seagulls do 
Have we ever, has, have Tom and I ever told the story before of when we went to Cornwall? Probably. It's one of my favourites. But maybe I shouldn't because he's not here and it's not fair. Ah, it's fine. Uh, we went to Cornwall <laughs> on holiday two years ago? Yes, in 2016. And, you know, there were signs everywhere saying, mind the gulls, and we were like, <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll mind the gulls. We didn't think it was that big an issue because we saw them roaming around and stuff, but we hadn't seen anyone like, being assaulted by the gulls. I don't know why the signs called them that so colloquially, like, it's just a, it's just a common thing, the gulls, you know. Uh, the first time we got ice cream, we wandered inside into this independent art gallery, which was really cute, but we were inside, so it was pretty protected, no issue there. Finished our ice creams in relative peace while looking at pretty art and some horrifying art too, but there's always some of that wherever you go. Wherever art, whichever art gallery you go to. But anyway, um, if you go to St. Ives, by the way, check it out. It's on Port Minster Beach, is that what it's called? Maybe. There's an art gallery there. Um, or near there. It's really, really cool. You should check it out. Love the watercolours. Anyways, what was I saying? Seagulls. Yes, good job. Um, on our last day, we went to the beach to eat dinner. We just bought some fish and chips. How very English. Um, Except I'm, I'm very, I am very English, as you can tell, but I haven't eaten many fish and chips in my time being alive. Unlike the time when I was dead, no. Um, I don't know, I just, I've never been that into it, and I really don't care that much for really big chips. I, I don't know. But anyway, we have fish and chips. This is totally irrelevant. I digress way too much. We have fish and chips on the beach, which was quite nice. Very breezy, though. Um, nearly lost my chips and my hair was flying in my face which was really comfortable when you were eating and then after that we were like ah, let's walk along the beach a little bit more don't want to go back to the hotel just yet and we decided to grab some ice creams they were pretty expensive by the i don't know i don't buy ice cream that often i'm not actually the biggest fan in the world of dairy i like ice cream but not enough to buy it <laughs> or something that makes sense i mean when i was a kid you could get 99 ice creams for 99 pence. Makes sense, right? Now, in some ice cream trucks I've seen around, then again, I live in kind of... Well, no, I live near places that charge quite a bit of money. Like, I live nearish. Wait, I shouldn't say, should I? Never mind. But anyway, I've seen people charging for 99 ice creams. Two pounds. Those are two pound ice creams now. You can't call them 99 anymore. It doesn't make sense. What's 99 about them? Not the price. Jog on. Anyway, that's me slapping my knee. Don't mind me. Getting a bit worked up over 99 ice creams. I'm digressing way too much. I don't tell stories often, and it's not even that interesting. Stop. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tom's not here to help. So, I am rambling nervously. Plus I- ha, Anyway, get on with it, get on with it. Okay. So we got ice creams working along the beach. I'm so sorry. I'm bad at this. Um. And so, yeah, walking along, very peaceful, chatting about whatever. I think we were playing Pokemon Go at the time. That was still a thing. And I caught a Starmie, but Tom couldn't because his phone disconnected. It was all very tragic. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, a seagull swooped down, landed on Tom's head, and he nearly fell over from the force of this gull. It was quite big. I didn't realise how big they were. It landed, literally, its feet landed on his head, and he nearly keeled over from the force of the the force of the bird landing on him. And then the gull just leaned over and grabbed the top scoop of his ice cream. And then and I think it tried to grab I don't know yeah, it tried to grab the next one as well, but it fell out Tom like through the cone and then grabbed the scoop of ice cream in his bare hand and slammed it into a bin. And I was like, why did you do that? And he was like, I'd rather it go in the trash than let one of those bloody birds get any more of my ice cream. So yeah, and then he also, he also wished he could have um, done the same thing to the seagull, the seagull flew away. Um, he was really angry. <laughs> and we were walking home and he was just ranting about seagulls the entire way. And he was actually really, perturbed by it. He was pretty upset. And I still had my ice cream. The gull didn't get mine. Um, 
I, I didn't help him at all. I just shielded my ice cream. I planned to share it with him, but he was too angry. So we sp we walked back to the hotel after that because um you know mood a little bit ruined by the seagull <laughs> stealing his ice cream. Um, and I was like, do you want some of mine? He was like, no, I don't want any ice cream, I'm fine. And he was just complaining about seagulls and saying all the horrible things he wanted to do to it. And I was just trying really hard not to audibly laugh because I was like vibrating with contained laughter. It, it was just, it was funny. He was really angry <laughs> and it was really funny. He doesn't get angry much. It, it normally takes a lot to bother him. But he hates seagulls now. Every time he hears one fly overhead, he try he just looks up with completely unveiled contempt and disgust, like utter revulsion and hatred. And it's so funny. It did it does suck that we wasted like three pounds on that ice cream. See, that's what I mean though, they're expensive, right? Those ice creams, they were like three pounds each. Wasted three pounds because of a bloody seagull. That's what I don't forgive it for, the three pounds we wasted. Could have bought not much with that, but could have kept it. <laughs> okay, maybe I like I, I always feel really old when I say this now, but you know, we, we all know these days would come. When I was really little, there was a corner shop near me and they had like this whole whole blah, 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 this whole wall of just um, sweets in these plastic cases. And it was like each one was only a penny, so you could literally get well some were two pennies and the really big ones would be maybe 20 to 50 pence but nothing was a pound so if you got the smallest cheapest sweets you could literally get a hundred and it would be a pound for this bag of a hundred of these small sweets and it was just amazing and not anymore not anymore those days are gone those days are gone but hey this year's going pretty all right England got to the semi-finals of the World Cup. It's been a long time and they could get third place. Kane's gonna get the golden boot, I believe in him. It's been absolutely amazing. I don't know, I, I needed to say that. I wanted to cheer myself up after the goal story. I'm kidding, I found that hilarious. It cheered me up when it happened. Not, not at Tom's expense. I, I offered to buy him more ice cream, but he didn't eat ice cream for a long time after that. Anyway, so that took me forever to tell you because I'm terrible at this. Um, sorry about that. But here's the bathroom. We decorated the bedroom. You saw it. Maybe you've muted me already and you're just watching. But oh well. Just just in case. I think Tom at least watches these. So hi Tom. If you're still here. You're still listening maybe. Maybe I should test this. <laughs> like, so what did you think of the video? Did you get up to a certain point? Uh... Anyway, <laughs> see if you listen to, listen to the whole thing. But yeah, um, you see those roof awning thingies that's just outside? It, okay, it was jutting into the room and I thought of deleting them, but I really like how they look on the outside and I actually kind of wanted to use, work around it. I tested it, Simpsons can still use the entire bathroom, that doesn't interfere with them at all, it's all good. But I kind of wanted to use it as like a window shelf thing behind the bath, so that's what we use it for. And that's why I didn't get rid of it because I kind of liked it. And Tom returns. Now he can join the voiceover. Being He's being quiet. He doesn't want to join the voiceover. He's too busy. But he will ruin it with background noise. That is okay, apparently. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so that's where I'm using the awning, th I don't know what it's called, that roof thing that came with Selva Dorada that. We're using that as a shelf by the window to put on tons of plants and we put some incense in here. Super relaxing stuff. There's so much space on the outside for verandas that I made. I could have used it for more space on the bedrooms and bathrooms but it was just, the build's just... I haven't done a build quite so big in a while so it was pretty challenging to fill it up. Um, I don't know why. I mean I did Diagon Alley before you know that video that I did in five parts because I'm an idiot? Yeah, that one. Um, I didn't struggle too much with that, but then again, I used tons of hidden objects. But hey, I should reattempt that one day, but not one day soon because it was a nightmare. Not really. The videos were a nightmare because those were my first ones and for some reason I decided to do this really long, long 
terrible thing. <laughs> um, but I do want to do some bigger builds because they are really fun. Except the decorating, like I said. No, sometimes it is. It depends on the room. It's just when there's so many of the same rooms, it just gets a bit meh. But, you know, maybe one day, they, one day they'll introduce actual hotels. Who knows? And then I can actually build one without thinking, wow, won't be able to use this properly. I can pretend, but that can only get us so far. <laughs> one day. I think the next pack will probably be something farming related or supernatural related since they've asked you know what supernatural beings you'd like and they're like oh we might not do anything with this anytime soon but hey ho but you know I mean expansions come out once a year so the next one will probably have something to do with witches it makes sense because there's so much to do with gardening botany and there's the herbalism skill, which I've never actually explored, but, you know, that'll probably tie in well with witches as well. Um, would like some university in my game. That'd be pretty, pretty dank. Don't know why I said that. I only say these sorts of words when I'm recording this, because... I don't know why, actually. I, I just end up doing it. But yeah, I wanted to do something slightly different with this bathroom. So, I did. Kind of. I mean, it's not that interesting as a bathroom, but I tried to do a different layout than usual. Filled it with tons of plants, so I, I guess that's different. This room has its own balcony. Oh, we've left. Well, it had its own balcony. Um, this is above the other bedroom. So the other one bedroom has its own massive balcony and an ensuite, and this bedroom. <laughs> has an upstairs sort of like a loungy room. I'd, I'd take this bedroom. I don't care too much about the ensuite bathroom. Um, there are two bathrooms though, don't worry. There's one ensuite and one that's accessible for everyone, but there's only two bedrooms, so it's, you know, yeah. Um, but I'd pick this room because they have the highest room in the whole build, which is this floor. And it's just this, the only, bit that's on this floor is this room leading up from that bedroom and it's just a tv watching area there's a little bar and they can dance there's some space for dancing it's very nice i wouldn't dance i'd sit on my ass and watch the telly but you can if you want um when i was building it i nearly where those big windows are i nearly put a door there and i was going to use the outside roof bit as another balcony but I'm glad I didn't, because there's so many balconies, and there's only so much you can do with outdoor space in this. There's just this not tons, is there? But hey, uh, you could just do like a big um, roof garden, that would look nice. But I didn't. <laughs> but if you want to, you can, feel free. Yep, so that's this room, kind of. Well, I mean, it's not finished, I'm still doing it. It changes, stuff. Eh, not much actually. Um, it retains a lot of space, like I said, for dancing. It's mostly for the TV area, and I wanted some space. Like, the actual bedroom is kind of small. One would say cosy, maybe? Mm. Um, if you're trying to advertise a house as Marge Simpson. Have you seen that episode? Everyone's seen that episode, surely, unless you're like two years old. In which case, go away. I don't like two years- no, I don't know what. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's this room. Very red. Kind of themed it. The actual bedroom is also quite red. But like I said, it's pretty small. And that's why I gave this room the uh, this upstairs with a bar and just loungy area, because the other bedroom has a cute fireplace seating area. So this room deserves something too. Plus the other one, it opens up onto a balcony where you can... I don't know, it's just, sort of just a chill area, really. Oh. I left that in the edit without editing it out, I guess. Well, remember to save, kids. Don't lose all your progress. Because that's happened before. And it is not fun. It's probably happened to, like, nearly everyone, right? If not, well, well done. You're better than the rest of us. But yeah, that's, that's this room. Don't know why I'm still doing it. I told you, I'm really quite slow at decorating. Building, no. Like, well, when videos are in two parts, the speed build is normally pretty easy to edit. But then, the decorating part, I have to cut it so much, and normally it doesn't include every room. 
have I done... I think the only... I don't know if this is true, I was gonna say, I think the only one that included every room in the build was Diagon Alley, but that was in five parts and it was my first few videos, so... Does that count? I don't know. I want to say it doesn't. Maybe I have included decorating every room. Probably, when, when a video is... when a build is small and it's only one part, then maybe yeah, it's easier then. This one was just big, I couldn't do it. But we're heading into the tour now, so you can go ahead and see every room in the build. If you want to download it, it's up on the gallery, my idea is Blossom Bombs. So yeah, go grab it. See you next time. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that fun stuff. See you soon. Bye bye.